Let's start by downloading and installing a few tools and configure the environment. For simplicity, I created a third folder in my C disk just below the root where we will store the files we elaborate during this presentation. As you can see, this folder is empty right now. In order to use Java tools, you need to install a recent 32-bit version of Java from the Java download page, even if you have a 64-bit machine. In my case, I installed version 7 update 17, which is the latest version available right now. Then I downloaded the Jetty library, which I will use to convert a PFX into a JKS file whose format is usable by a Java-based server like Apache Tomcat. You don't have to install it, you just have to download from this page and then extract in the same folder we saw before, as I'm doing in this case. Finally, I downloaded and installed OpenSSL, which I will use to extract the private key from the PFX file. Please note that you might need the Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistributable package, if not installed yet, before running the OpenSSL setup. And finally, I defined a couple of variables. But now let's see how to generate the certificates, and let's start with the concept of a key store. The key store is a container for certificates, public keys, private keys, and other pieces of such kind of information. With this command, we create into a new key store, or in an existing one, a new public-private key pair for our certificate, identified by the alias MySTS. Let's do it. This is the command that we have to run, and then we have to answer a few questions, like the key store password, And then this is the most important question of this wizard, because the first last name value must match the public host name of the server where the SSL certificate is published, which in my case is sts.myDomainEduTeamIT.com. And then reply whatever you want to the next questions, like the organizational unit, the organizational name, which I'm inventing, my city, my province, my country, information are correct. And finally, I have the possibility to specify a new password for the certificate contained in this key store. On the right, you can see the key store generated. Well, the next step is to create a local certificate signing request signed with the private keys that we have just generated. So let's do the same thing that we saw on the slide. This is the command. We are asked the key store password and the certificate password. And on the right, you see that uh, this file is created. Dot rect, but you might write whatever you want. It's a text file. Let's look at it. Here it is. And we use this information to ask our certification authority to generate the certificate that we need. This may vary from certification to certification authority. In my case, my certification authority offers this page where I have to select the certificate, click on rekey, paste the request in order to get the certificate rekeyed. And finally, I can download the certificate. I can choose the platform where I'm willing to install the certificate, Tomcat in this case, but it will work on IIS as well, and then download the file. Well, the file is a zip, zip file because uh, it contains uh, three files, actually. It's not our cert certificate only. Of course, we have it. And it's this one, which we can uh, identify because uh, 
it has uh, it contains uh, our name that we want to protect you remember sts my domain edutmit.com but uh, this is just our certificate in fact we need also the certification path to the certification authority so we need the root certificate and we need the intermediate certificate which are these ones on the right and we need to import them into our key store before importing the certificate that we need for our server this is the command to import the root certification authority into our key store and then we need to run this other command in order to import our certificate and the intermediate certificate into the key store and in fact in this case we are asked not only the key store password but also the key password for our certificate well finally we have uh, our certification authority the intermediate certification authority and our certificate installed in our key store now we extract the certificate from the key store and export it into a pfx or p12 file together with the private key pfx files are windows certificate backup files that combine your ssl certificates public key and the trust chain with the associated private key now we use the jetty library to convert the pfx into a jks file whose format is usable by a java based server like apache tomcat this is the command, this is the password, I use the same password for the JKS file and as you can see the JKS file is generated here. We miss just one file to be complete. In fact the very last step is to extract the private key, the private key from the pfx file and save it into a new file. We will use the open SSL and this is the command. Okay, so we have generated this uh, file, tempfile.sir, and we try to extract the private key from here. This is a text file and the private key is listed right here. So we can select it including begin and end we copy paste into a new file and save the new file as mysts.key okay so let's take just for a better reading the file the certificate file that we have in this folder and copy it here and then we can rename it to the same file name a part of the extension so my sts so as a matter of fact uh, we have the following four files crt file which is the ssl certificate to secure our website then we have uh, the JKS file, which is the certificate container usable by our web server. Then we have the key file, which is uh, our certificate private key. And finally, we have the PFX file, which is the Windows certificate backup file. Now, to avoid any confusion, we can even delete all the files that are not necessary in this case. So we leave only these four files and we delete all the rest.